Hi, welcome to Brain Master's videos. So today, um, we will be doing on maximum and minimum values. Okay, so this is the question. It is state the maximum or minimum values of y for the following functions and its corresponding value of x. Okay, in this case, this question usually appears after your um, quadratic equation, finding nature of roots, okay? So they will usually ask you for the maximum or the minimum value, which also means that it is the turning point. So over here, I have two questions. They are quite similar. It's just that um, over here, there is um, no negative. This is a positive graph, and this is a negative. So if they want to find the maximum and minimum values using the graph, okay, you can refer to my previous videos on um, complete the square. Okay, this, at this stage, for this kind of question, you require complete the square knowledge. Okay, so I will do the complete the square again. So by completing the square, so what I have is, I have a skeleton usually. So y equals to x squared minus 2x. Okay plus something square minus something square plus 4 okay so the number here will be 1 so by working this out okay the first three will give me my x minus 1 voting square simplifying the last part that will give me positive 3 so after completing the square this is what I have okay so this is the equation originally by changing it into the complete the square form and from here we will be able to find our maximum or minimum point okay so in this case this is a positive graph means that it's a happy face all right so since it's a happy face we are actually finding the minimum point the lowest point actually so how do we get a point okay so minimum point for this one we have to achieve a zero here in order to achieve a 0, I, let to need, I need to let x become 1. And once this becomes 0, my y will be equal to 3. So my minimum point is 1 and 3. Okay, so the minimum value of y is 3 and the corresponding value of x is 1. So this is how I get the maximum or the minimum uh, method to do. All right. So same for b, but just that b, there's a negative. So what do we do? Over here, what I will do is, before that, before completing, completing a square, I usually I will do is, I will factorize out the negative. So, after that, complete the square. Complete the square based on the inside. So, this is actually the same, so I just copy this over. Now I have x minus 1, whole thing squared plus 3. So, what I do is, expand the negative in, so I have negative x minus 1 square minus 3 so this is the graph based on the equation for part for b okay so since it's a negative it means that it's a set phase so over here i'm finding the turning point at the highest point so this is for the maximum point so to find the maximum point same thing i need to achieve this uh, zero because when this is zero the negative doesn't care anymore so when this is zero to, to achieve 0, so my x will have to be 1, and when this is 0, my y will be negative 3. Okay, so my values for y will be negative 3, okay, and my corresponding value for x will be 1. Okay, so this will be my answer if I were to use um, to find my maximum and my minimum value for the following function, okay. Okay, if you do like our teaching videos, do subscribe.